Okay, now that we have our basic item set up, along with our interface, we walk up to it and we try to interact with it, we know it's working. We want to set up the structure that is going to contain all of the information that we need to be able to create an inventory system built around our actors, or our items here. So let's go ahead and just, we'll go to inventory shop tutorial.h and let's just try to create a struct here. So it's going to be a U struct because we want it to be accessible from blueprint. So we're going to do blueprint type. Let's do struct F. Uh, let's do F. We'll do F item. I guess that's an okay name. And add information in here. So we want to have a U property. Blueprint. Well, let's see. Since it's blueprint type, I think if we just mark it as U property, it might be okay. Uh, well, no, we're probably gonna have to do blueprint, read, write, as well as edit. We'll do edit defaults only. So let's actually, I prefer having edit defaults only before our blueprint access accessors. So I'm gonna do it like that. And let's do, let's see, we want it to be, we wanna have a class. So what class is going to be able to represent this item? So we want it to be a T subclass of. And then we could have the actor. So in our case, pretty much everything's going to be derived from a item. So we're going to do a item. And let's call it item class. So we have to for declare a item like so. Next up, uh, let's see, we want to have an image. So let me go ahead and see what that image class is real quick. Okay, so it's a U texture 2D. So let's add another U property. It's a U texture 2D. And let's do item image. Now just to be safe, let's forward declare this. So we're gonna have our class and the image that we want pretty much for the uh, for it to be represented by. So we have, let's see, we also wanna have a cost. So let's just do another U property. Let's do float item cost. Or we can actually just represent this by an integer instead, but this allows us just to have decimal values. So cents, for example, we have the class, the item image, and the item cost. Let's see, what else do we really need here? We could also do, oh, let's think. I can't really think of anything for right now. I'm sure we're going to have to eventually, obviously. But for the time being, I think this is enough information. So let's go to item.h. And let's find, let's create a U property. We're going to do edit defaults only. Again. And let's do, it was the F item. Let's do item data. So we're going to go ahead and add our item data. And we can also go ahead and include, what in the world did it include? Oh, duh. Want to include, as you can see here, our inventory shop tutorial.h. So we do inventory shop, inventory shop tutorial.h to give us access to our structure. We could create a separate header file and just do it that way, but I'd say that's pretty much good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and close down the editor here. Let me go ahead and save everything. And just simply relaunch. All right, so we got a complaint. So we're having an issue with the struct item conflicting with another type of the same name. So what we want to go ahead and do, as you can see here, well, for starters, we could do a test real quick and just change the name, which I think this is going to have an issue. So F test and see if that compiles, which I find unlikely, or that actually is successful. It just realizes that we forgot something. So we want to make sure we include generated body at the top of our struct. So generated underscore body, just like so. And here we should be good to go. So let's try to recompile by building. And it continues to throw a fit. So what we're going to do is create a dedicated header file just for all of our information to throw it in there. So let's go over here to our public section. Let's go ahead and right click, add, and let's add a new file. And let's give it a name of structs.h. 
I went through and created that. Let's copy our struct right here and place it in. As well as if you see in pretty much any class or header that we have, we always have the class then generated.h. So we want to do that as well. So when we go to compile, it should handle what we need for us. But we're going to rename item to structs. So it's going to be include structs.generated.h. And we really, sh I don't think we need anything else. So let's go ahead and give that a compile. And I just realized I forgot to remove it out of our inventory shop tutorial.h, which also means we have the issue of it not existing here. So let's go ahead and remove that include from our atom.h. And we want to, let's go ahead and just include our inventory shop tutorial, public structs.h. So that should take care of that inside of our item.h and do another build. Okay, so it built just fine. Let's go ahead and give it a launch. And once we're here, let's go ahead and reopen the asset. And we have item data. So it contains the item class, which is BP item. We have an image, which we could just do as really any of these for the time being. We're going to do the logo. And let's give it a cost of 500. We have our information set up right here with everything we need that, well, is simply accessible. Well, that's really all we're going to be doing for this video. We just wanted to get that nice and set up. So in the future, we can create an array of structs of these, uh, well, of our item data. So essentially, or sorry, not our item data, our test. So we have to rename this as well. But we have all the information we need. We can create an array of structs out of it. So we are pretty much done. Let's go ahead and just get that rename out of the out of the way real quick. We're gonna do S or sorry F item data. I think that's a much better name. And replace F test with F item data. Close it down and relaunch one more time. And open it back up just to confirm. Because yeah, like I figured, it goes through and it reset everything because we changed the name. So let's just add that info back like so, compile, and save. Well, that's going to be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons. And if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.